Um, can I ask you guys something? Yeah. Are you Tom and are you Seb from the new web drama called Flatshare that's on YouTube? Yeah. Yeah. So what are you doing here? We're to see you, right? Yeah, we're to speak to Stephen on Heart Stephen Talk. Stephen Hawks. Oh, Heart Talks. That is really good. Hey everybody, welcome back to Heart Talks. Well today I am very honoured to have two guests with me. I've talked about Flatshare before on my Instagram, so it's a new web drama that's set in Peckham, which is in South London, and these two gentlemen, Nick and Andrew, are both in it. So welcome guys. Thanks for having Thanks. us. You're very welcome. Absolutely honoured. You're very welcome. <laughs> so I thought I'd get the guys along to talk a bit more about Flatshare and um, also to tell us a bit about their characters. Andrew, I'm going to pick on you first and ask you about your character, Tom. Okay. Could you just tell us, tell the viewers a bit about him? Uh, okay, so Tom is this kind of, like, guy that is hedonistic, loves to sleep with other people, really out there, outgoing, outspoken, every single word that goes with out, he is. <laughs> he's also gay, so he's out of the closet. He's just out. He's just he? super out. Um, <laughs> and he's just left uh, an abusive relationship with his um, partner, and he's just trying to find his feet uh, in London. Um, so he's a very complex character as well. We're getting absolutely wasted tonight. Yeah. We're both nodding every time you oh, say yes. something like oh, that. Yeah. Yes, yes. Truth, yes. truth. So it's, now it's your turn, Nick. Tell us about Seb. Uh, so Seb, I would say, is definitely the outsider mm -hmm. of the group. Um, he comes in a little bit later. Um, he's not quite as well established. And there's a lot, there's definitely a lot of friction between him and the other characters. Yeah, yeah. Um, there, there's a lot of layers to Seb which I definitely identified with as much as he is so, so sure of everything that he's saying and everything that he believes in. Mm -hmm. There's a lot going on under the surface which mm -hmm. I think is really, really integral to how the other characters perceive him. So that's, you know, that's basically, you know, Seb is a, an activist for gentrification and everything. So coming Four? into... He's not an activist for gentrification. Against. I keep making, I keep making that mistake in interviews. Or maybe against. you are for it, yeah. but you just say you're against it. That might be. Either way. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that's, you know, that's where he's coming from coming into this group. Okay. So, if you haven't seen Flatshare yet, you have to go and look it up. I'll put the link in the description box below. It looks like such a lot of fun. Now, was it fun doing it you know you guys yeah. working together did you guys know each other yeah, Any of you yeah. Knew? <laughs> yeah. i got him the job <laughs> that is true that is true <laughs> okay okay so you know it's each not other what people. you know it's who you know yeah it's very true very true um yeah no it was it was amazing um so i've been on on it since uh, two years uh i was the original cast if you want um and it's yeah, it's just been a total whirlwind and then when we actually started filming it was just it was incredible. And it totally confirmed that I was in the right industry, that this is exactly where I wanna be. You know, you can you can kind of think as an actor, maybe am I doing the wrong thing? I'm not getting auditions, am yeah. I in the wrong yeah. thing? Yeah. And then you do something like this and it just totally confirms that actually, you know, 
you are yeah, in the right thing. Part of something special and part of something important. Yeah, yeah and it yeah, just yeah. it takes time and it takes grafting and it takes meeting the right people and and taking risks and that's the main thing. But um, coming back to like the filming, um, I absolutely loved it. But the main problem of it was I kind of embodied the character Tom a little <laughs> bit too much. <laughs> Um, it wasn't. It wasn't annoying at all. I, I, I was the most annoying character. <laughs> um, and I came home for dinner, and my partner had his mother and his godmother and his godmother's friend over, and we had just filmed like one of the scenes where I was like unbelievably bitchy, <laughs> and I literally, I kid you not, I walked in and I pushed the doors open. I said, "What's for dinner?" <laughs> and then Daniel was like, "Oh, it's curry." I was like, "Oh." curry and so then I looked at the rice and I tasted it and he overcooked rice. I hate when people overcook See, I, rice. See I went, I went through a full week of this from about <laughs> yeah, six, from about, not, from about six in the morning. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Daniel still. was like horrified yeah. because he was like what are you doing? And I was like I'm not eating this. And, and I, I couldn't stop myself. I was just like. Was you like, were Tom. I was. I was, what's his name? Uh, Daniel Day-Lewis. I yeah. did a Daniel Day-Lewis. <laughs> method. Yes, method. so method. I think Tom is, um, I look at him and recognise so many of the friends that I had when I was yeah. in my 20s that were like Tom. And as much as you want to smack him sometimes, you also <laughs> love him mm. because there's just an adorable side to him, mm. you know. So that's... That, you know, you know, so, so that's, I agree. Yeah, I, yeah. I, totally I, agree. Knew yeah. I knew you'd agree. Yeah. I knew you would. So, what about you, Seb? Fun, fun wise, you know? Yeah, how... yeah, I mean, I loved it. Like, we, you know, me and Andrew, we've been friends for a long time, and I'm very, very uh, grateful of Andrew, you know, getting me into this job. <laughs> you, you we had a big sigh then. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He, always, he always does this in the interviews, he always makes sure it makes out that he isn't like loving being around me. But... <laughs> <laughs> loving being yeah. a, a loving around uh, you, but yeah no it was it was really great because I had been doing stage for the past like few years and I was like really really eager to get my teeth into some filming and mm. I had seen everything Andrew had been doing on like social media before it filming got started and then to actually come into it and then we went through you know a lot of changes and then mm. when we finally came on to set it was like everything just glued I mean we had an amazing director so Grant fun. Taylor amazing director that really knew what to do and how everything fit and then you know uh james the creator being on set like really you know consulting and mm. it we just felt comfortable it was, it was it, we felt comfortable right. and it was really good fun like mm. you could tell the scenes especially the ones with me and tom we could tell we're having a good time because it's because we're very good friends so it kind of just yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah exactly yeah, more natural yeah so now I'm going to ask you, what is the best thing about your character? I think the um, best thing about my character is that he's really mul multi-layered. So what you think is Tom isn't actually Tom. Mm, and I yeah. think that's a really good representation of a lot of gay men out there who overcompensate by maybe being overly camp or overly loud or overly overly something yeah it's because actually deep down there's there's some thing that's really like hurting them and mm -hmm. that they haven't un uncovered that so i think that's the best part of tom is that he just has this really beautiful multi-layered dimension to him like every human being mm -hmm. obviously yeah. but yeah. it's even more shocking when you see it f from tom's perspective because you see him as this like oh he's so funny he's so jokey and then when you watch episode three you're like oh yeah. wait he's yeah he's he's actually really hurting mm -hmm. I think what I loved about Seb is that although he comes in, you know, all guns blazing, you quickly find out how warm he actually can be. Like the the intentions, although it's like again, like Tom, very very multi layered. It's you know there is a bravado on top. Every it's like I think it's it can just goes to you know, goes without saying that everyone has a kind of surface layer, and then when you get to know people, you slowly chip away at it. Yeah. And that's what I really resonated personally with with Seb is that with all this kind of you know like I said bravado there is a really yeah. soft layer and you do get to see that to, quite yeah. quickly but then it goes up again and then it comes down yeah. again which is what keeps the dynamic flowing throughout it and that's what I found so fun to play with and that's what I really loved about Seb I guess is just the softness. Now you know it's fun it's it's hysterical you know so there's no doubt about that but 
as you watch it, you start to see that there's some quite important things that you that the, the program is touching on. You know, um, we talk about you talk about prep, you talk about violence, um, you talk about homelessness. You know, so all this is going on, um, and which is great. I think you know, so so there's so many things for another season. So can I ask, is there going to be another season? Yes, there will be another <laughs> fingers season. Fingers crossed, like, fingers <laughs> crossed, yeah. I think that there will always be um, an, another season. When there's a will, there's a way. And I think there's definitely been a demand from every single person that's watched Flat Share so far have been like, it's been great. There's just too much scope. Is. There is like that's I think that is the main thing is that there is just too much scope. I yeah. mean this only touches on like the main hook of this show is that what it's like to live in London or any city to be mm -hmm. either a minority or to have a certain belief, but the scope can just go anywhere. Sure. And the way it ends, which you will all see. You will see. You will, the way it ends, mm -hmm. it can just go so many places and these characters have so many stories to tell. Yeah. And I think the stories that they can tell will yeah, it will it will resonate with everyone. I was screaming at my computer yeah. because it was <laughs> yeah. it was episode four and there wasn't an episode five and I was yeah. like, how am I going to last without knowing what happens? You know, to these four characters. We can reenact. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Should we do? No. Should we do, <laughs> should we do <laughs> episode one of season two right now? <laughs> I'll, play, I'll play it all my. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, so th yeah, there's so much scope for a next season. So um, you know, make sure you are watching it and giving your support to it. So. Tell people why they should watch. I think the main reason you should watch Flatshare is because it's such a diverse web series. It, it teaches you. It's not only entertains you, which it does. It will really, really entertain you. But it also teaches you about some serious issues that the LGBT community are facing, but also that like inner cities are facing as well. So that would be the main reason I'd say that you should um, watch it. Yeah, I think all walks of life, anyone, it will resonate with anyone. anyone. You know, you're, no matter what kind of background you're from or what your parents are like or anything, everyone will watch it and think, you know, that is something that I can actually relate to. And I think relatability is the key word. Yeah. It is 100% yeah. relatability. And that's and show it to people that you think it's... Yeah. Them. Show it, like, yeah. if, you're, if you're from an LGBT background... And your friends that are not, show it to them because mm -hmm. that's good. That's who we need really to target. You and know, you, you don't you don't know what part of our show is going to touch someone yeah, in a yeah. certain way and what is going to encourage them to speak up about something. Absolutely, and everybody's going to know somebody. Yeah, out of the cast, aren't yeah. they? They're all going to know it's Seb, or they're all going to yeah. know it. You know, they're all yeah. going to know somebody from the show, yeah. um, or be able to connect with their story. Yeah, um, and I think that's you know that's that's why we. You know, everybody's so desperate for there to be another season. Season yeah. two. Season two. So wow. thanks, guys. It's been lovely having you on the show. <laughs> thanks, it's man. Really, it's Thank been you. Great. So the guys are going to give me their details. If you want to check them out on Instagram or Twitter or wherever they are, um, I will put their details down below, and you can fi follow them and follow Flatshare. Okay. Make sure you watch it. Thank you for watching Heart Talks. Like this video. Share this video comment and subscribe on this video and I will see you in well I won't see you in two weeks time because I'm going to be in New York so change of change for change of the plan so um we will find out what's happening in New York so I will be back very soon okay thanks guys and thank you thank so you. much no problem and see you next time bye, bye. there you go yeah. So, Tom, I'm going to pick on you first. Please do. And, um, and I'll say that again. Andrew, I'm going to pick on you first. Yeah. And <laughs> <laughs>